Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this classic Sudoku 6888 by Florian Wortman. And I'll be placing marks in the grid. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, I saw this in a CTC Discord server. I wanted to give it a try. It looks like there can be a one right there because of the one in column three in row six. Um, two spots for a one up here. I'll make those marks. And then don't see anywhere else right there's just two places for a one looking at the twos two spots for two here in row five column five anything else I can do with the twos not this time threes all right I see two spots for three right here in block one you see how there's three come across a row two and then column one column three one two spots this is called scenario notation when you only have uh, two possibilities for the candidate and a three by three block you want to mark those because in case I saw one of these cells, I can immediately solve the other one. It's a nice expert tip there. Uh, they use them in competition. All right, looking at the fours. I see a four here and a four here. They're not really working that well together for the Snyder marking. Look at the five. I see a five and five. Uh, okay, so as these fives right here, they're a, become a pointing pair. So the five comes down column nine and then across row four. So now the fives are limited to row five and block six means there can be no other fives along here. So the fives are limited down here in block five. Uh, I'll keep track of that, but since there's three, I'm not gonna mark it yet. All right, for the sixes, make this mark for the six, and uh, three spots for six there in block six, I'm not gonna mark that. And I don't see three spots for six here in block four, I don't wanna mark that. Let's go on to the sevens, seven up, seven across, Nothing there. Eight, eight, eight. Two spots for an eight in block four. Eight, eight. Two spots for an eight down here in block eight. Uh, and see how this eight plays out. And I can't really do anything else there. And then the nines. I only see one nine. Nothing there. And so you can see I didn't make a lot of marks so far. Uh, okay, I do have something here with three, three. Uh, two spots for three right there. Maybe I missed that. Which makes it a pointing pair. So now the threes are limited. The threes can't be anywhere else in column six except for these two spots. So I can make those marks. But that still didn't help me too much. Um, I, you kind of notice this is a kind of a neat shape that Florian has. It don't, to me, it almost looks like a an insect, like a you know with with the uh, legs coming out like there. Um, but what I notice is, is it puts a lot of digits on the outside and what's interesting is like look at this two and eight so the two and the eight are can't be in these three spots right but there's no two or eight up here or down there and there's only two remaining cells in column nine so what does that mean it means that these two cells they have to be two and an eight right because they can't go anywhere else in here so then this become a, a naked triple of the three remaining candidates so the three remaining candidates would be a three, four, and a nine. So let's do that. Three, four, nine. Threes in row six. We can get rid of that three. And so hopefully you can see that. I mean, I'll highlight it. This part of it. So you can see that's kind of your naked triple. And then these two are like your, uh, well, it's a hidden pair, basically. Uh, nice. I have a feeling that was, you needed to find that. Um, I'm sure that's part of the intended solve there, so. Let's get rid of that. Let's get back here. And so what's remaining in here, since you have the three, four, nine now, we have the five, six, and seven. So I will just mark those. And this can't be a five because of the five right there. So this is helpful for us, right? Um, well, if you look over here on column one, I think we can do the same thing. So you notice there's a six, a four, a nine, and a three, right? And then there's a two and a five. The two and the five can't be there. So the twos and the fives have to be on the outside. So that's an, another hidden pair, which makes the one, seven, eight, uh, naked triple right there. So hopefully you see that and you see that. And I see something pretty cool about this that I'm about to show you. It has to do with these corner cells. Nice, nice, okay. So let's get rid of the nice cool colors. I wanted to kind of see that. 
I got an eight and a one right here, so that has to be your seven, right? Okay, so let's get back into non-color mode. So that's a seven, and then they can get rid of the sevens right there. Uh, actually, there's a one right there, so this is your eight, and then that's your one. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So I like how that played out, and then we have this naked triple here, which would be a four, six, nine. I'll mark that. But I want to get back to these cells right here. So what's the relationship between these four cells? You probably notice they're all by value cells. They are hidden pairs uh, in the respective columns. And they form an X-wing. Okay? So I, I color these up, then X-wing. So an X-wing means, you know, when there's only, you know, these are the base sets, columns one and nine. The two can either be here or here. And then in column nine, they are there. So that means there's either got to be a two here. If it's not here, it'd be here, which would eliminate the two there and make it go up there. So you either had two here and here, or here and here. And so the, the cover sets are across row one and row nine. And what that means is that a two can't be across any of those uh, in any of these cells right there, there or there. All right, so we'll. Get rid of the coloring, um, and I think this is going to help us to solve this. Has to be the intended logic. Very cool. I like this, Florian, because you kind of have to point yourself to the outside, and I and I kind of exhausted everything you do with Snyder leading up to that point. So I really like what you did here. Okay, so well, I'm noticing since a two can't be across here, a two is now limited to these two spots in block two which makes the two a pointing pair. And since the twos can't be here, and they can't be here, we can solve this cell for a two. Hopefully you see how that works, right? Twos are here, so they can't be in these three cells. And the two has to be there or there, they can't be in these three cells. That has to be a two. And since we displaced that eight mark, we can solve that for an eight immediately. Cool, very cool, love it. And since uh, there was a two mark there, we can solve this for a two, and you see how that Snyder works, we can solve that for a three very quickly uh, get rid of the three this will be your three and get rid of the three right there and then we have a four nine pair now to go up here and then you see already I solved that seven so this has to be a six and we can get rid of the sixes and I have a five seven naked pair nice and so now the sevens would be limited to these two spots because I think pair there's still three places for a five we're not going to mark that and then this would be uh, looks like it'd be a six nine so we'll make that mark okay four nine here uh four so that actually has to be a nine so we can solve right away four six uh four and a nine see how that works and now we can get rid of these uh sixes and we can solve this for your six because that's the only place left in block four for the six all right so what do we have left here we got a four five and a seven i see the four right there so that's going to be a five seven i'll just mark this out uh, this would be a four five and this would be a four five seven nice uh, but it looks like uh, we can go one step further uh, this is going to be your seven right here and i'll show you why See how this seven comes down column six and this seven comes across row eight? Well, now the sevens and the threes are a hidden pair, right? Because the sevens are limited to those same two spots as those threes. I'll just get rid of the threes there, make it a little easier, which means this can no longer be a seven. It means this has to be your seven. See how that works? And then what we have left here, five and a nine. Um, so I'll put the five and the nine there. I don't think I've solved that part yet. But look how much progress we made just off those X-wings. That's really cool. I really like it. And since we made this eight there, it looks like I can solve here. Two, that's an eight. And this is your five, and that's your two. So we figured out where the X-wing parts go. Okay. Love it. And so now it looks like uh, twos are limited to these two spots. Makes another pointing pair. And the twos are limited to those two spots. That's nice. Um, I see the ones are right here, so I'm just going to get back to my Snyder marking. I made a lot of damage, a lot of progress on this puzzle, and so I want to make sure I'm staying on top of it. This looks like a 4, 5, 9, so I'll mark that. Uh, what else do we have here? 
Oh, I can solve for the six, right? Because there's a six in column four, so that has to be your six. We can make that mark. Great. Uh, and then this is a full house right here. You see how all eight are filled in? Um, and so we can just solve the rest of it. That has to be your five. And since this is a five, that can no longer be a five. Four, nine, four, five, five, nine, down column six makes sense. And then we're looking for two, four, nine. So this is a two, nine. And this would be a two, four, nine. Uh, how does that affect column five? Uh, it looks like we can't solve the rest of column five just yet. But we're making way much progress. All right, now I'm going to do some cross hatching. So you have the five and the five and the five. This has to be your five. That has to be your three right there. And now three, three. One of those spots has to be a three. I'll make that mark. Okay, um, and look, eight and eight. So two spots for an eight there. Snyder-wise, okay, what else we have? Uh, I'm looking at six, six, six. So these sixes right there, nice. And six, six, so the sixes are right there, okay. Got it. Ones I marked. Uh, ones I marked there. Three spots for one, not gonna mark that yet. And so now I'm kinda looking for the, where the restrictions are so we can make some further progress in the puzzle because I got pretty far ahead with all the markings here. And so I gotta kind of do some cleanup. All right. So now I want to look at cells. Uh, you know where there's where there's some restrictions. So I'm seeing that the seven comes across here, and so does the uh, yeah the seven. So that means these sevens are a pointing pair. So now the sevens are limited block one column three. So this can't be a seven. Seven has to be in one of these spots. So that's kind of helpful for us. Uh, what else do we have going on? What can it be in here? A one, seven, eight, nine. All right, so when you look up here, there's only two spots for an eight. Uh, and this one, eight, I'm gonna make a mark of this bye by cell, because usually bye by cells come in quite handy. So that's seven, nine. And I will also look, let's see, one, seven, eight, nine, eight. So that's a one, seven, nine, one, eight, nines right there. And I really can't do much with that. Let's look down column two here. All right, we got a two, three, eh, column two is probably not the best. Let's look across row one. So I'm looking for at least five or six cells filled in in a house, row, column, or block. So one, four, seven, nine. Uh, I will make the marks now. One, seven, nine. Uh, I got a one, so that's four seven nine and then that'd be a one uh, four seven nine uh, not a lot there what other cells give us more information here let's look at oh I can solve for two right here right you see the two in row seven and row nine okay that's a little bit better because that two makes that a six, makes this a one, it makes that a seven. Okay, that's probably really close to that the whole time anyway. Uh, and then what we have left here is we got uh, four and an eight. So there's your eight, and here's your four. Nice. And now we can solve this for an eight. All right, back on track, people. I know you're a little worried about me at that time, but I'm good. I'm good. Okay, four. And what's left? This full house is a nine which makes that a seven that a one you can get rid of the one up there and we can solve for the one right below it again Snyder notation really helping us out uh, and we made so many changes down here we got the five and row nine so that's your nine that's your five and then we can do the four and the five right here we're really going to clean up the middle of this block really well and that gives you a four get rid of those four so now we have a seven nine naked pair and you got a nine so that can't be a nine anymore uh or a four so that has to be your two that's your nine and we can solve that for a two that for the three and what's left the four in there great all right moving on down here we did solve for the seven in row seven array so that's your three that's your seven okay and then 
three, three. Uh, only one place left for three in block nine, so we can solve that. We did solve for the six in row nine, so we can get, solve for the six there. Get, remove that marking. We solve for the eight in row eight, so that can be removed. And you got a full house remaining, so there's your nine. And let's go up here. We'll go seven, nine, and then we can solve the seven in column seven, so there's your five, there's your seven. So two spots left. Uh, looking across again, full house wise, uh, looking across for row seven, and you see we're just missing uh, the five. And then if you look down here, we're just missing that four. Check out these other videos where I solve more of Florian Wortman's puzzles. Thank you, Florian, for letting me feature your puzzle on this channel. I really appreciate it. You're an awesome setter, and I enjoyed this. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.